Hey, it's John, and this is a test of the DJI Mavic 3 Pro Cine. Today, we're looking at all three flavors of ProRes, along with H.265. All clips have been filmed at 5.1K resolution, 2398, and with a 150th shutter. There are two samples here. We'll go through each sample, and then I apply some post-production to the second sample. So far, we've seen ProRes HQ and ProRes 422. Now we're looking at this particular clip in ProRes LT. When this is done, we're going to switch to H.265. There are three primary reasons why we we'll go with ProRes over H.265. The first is data rate. The data rate of ProRes can be 10 times that of H.265. The second is bit depth. The bit depth with ProRes is always 10-bit 422 on the drone. The bit depth with H.265 can vary between 10-bit 420 and 8-bit 420, depending on which particular camera is used and whether or not log is used. Coming out of this four up side by side, we come to our second test. I'm flying along some trees on the edge of a field. The idea here was to get more dynamic range, more motion, as well as a lot more detail. That detail coupled with the movement of the drone should give us a sense as to if any one of these codecs has a particular advantage. From what I'm seeing, looking at the original files, ProRes HQ and ProRes 422 are better than both ProRes LT and H.265. One other note on ProRes versus H.265 is that many older computers can have trouble processing H.265, so that's another reason to go with ProRes. In this next series, I layered three different looks to the same set of files. This was to see if any of the codecs would break under the pressure so once again, based on the original files, not based on YouTube compression, ProRes HQ and ProRes 422 stand out. They have a lot more detail overall, and they can see much deeper into the shadows. That said, I don't see a big difference between ProRes HQ and ProRes 422. So the way to go seems to be ProRes 422. It takes advantage of a beefier file, and it saves on download times and storage space relative to ProRes HQ. Thanks for watching.